Greetings, one and all, and welcome to a DataBits scientific experiment. Today, we are going to record music onto a linear stereo VCR. And you might be saying, what is linear stereo? Well, linear stereo runs along the top edge of the tape. So, for example, if I take this tape out, the audio track is actually recorded along the top of the tape, right above the video signal, and then that is right above the sync track. Okay, so when VCRs first became stereo, the way they did it was just recording along the top of the tape. Later, like in the mid 80s, they decided, hey, we have this other technology called AFM, and we will introduce hi-fi stereo sound. So basically you've gone from a cassette, a very cheap sounding cassette deck up to near CD quality sound, near, but more like a really clear FM radio station. What we're going to do today is record something on this tape, some jazz music. I'm gonna use Dolby noise reduction. It's, you can see the light is on here for Dolby. We're going to listen to the results and then we're going to do an experiment with dbx and the scenario is what if instead of going with hi-fi stereo sound in the mid 80s they just partnered with dbx and stayed with the same system so that's what we're going to find out today what would linear stereo sound like if dbx noise reduction was added to it here we go. For any of you who are really, really pumped to see the inside of this thing, I've got a tape in it uh, just playing at the moment. There's nothing on it yet, of course. But uh, if I lift up this circuit board that you see right here, ooh, that is one lovely circuit board with all those wires going everywhere. It's like a rat's nest in there. In any case, uh, there is your video head center of your screen and you can see the tape is threaded in and we got our take up pinch roller and capstan right there underneath that metal piece right there some kind of a shield and this thing had a massive shield already in it and it's this piece right here so this goes over the top of the video head system in there all right now that you've seen the guts of this thing Let's go ahead and do our recording. And speaking of linear stereo, we have these linear stereo recorded music videos from the early 80s. And you can see right here at the bottom, VHS Hi-Fi Stereo Dolby System on Linear Tracks. So that indicates that you have stereophonic sound. It, in fact, the tape is in stereo. Um, same with the Harry Connick Jr. one here. Got that same little message down there. And it's a, this is from uh, SMV, and the other one is from CMV. So Columbia was a separate company until Sony bought it out, and it went from Columbia Music Video to Sony Music Video. I guess that happened around the time when this tape came out. And lastly, here's Julio Iglesias in Spain, of all places. There's that message again, Dolby System on Linear Tracks. So these sound pretty good, but I'm not going to play them due to copyright laws and regulations. Okay, let's go ahead and get that recording done. The source of our audio today is going to be provided by this Magnavox. And the reason I'm using this Magnavox DVD player is because it outputs a video signal, even if I'm playing music. And VHS gets a little finicky when you don't feed it a video signal along with the audio signal while you're recording. But what I've done is I've gone out to YouTube Music Library and I have downloaded some MP3s onto this cute little disc. And it is some jazz selections, as I mentioned earlier. So let's give this a play as well as a record. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a JVC branded tape. As you can see here, it is an SX premium quality. I mean, what else would you do besides use a JVC branded tape into a JVC VCR, right? Let's insert our videotape. I did fast forward it a little bit earlier, but let's go ahead and rewind it. Got our little flashing tape run LED indicator right there, or might just be a light, who knows. The display, unfortunately, is about shot. It's very, very dim. I did recap the power supply on this VCR, but uh, that didn't affect the display much. So there's probably more caps or it's just about gone. Let's go ahead and hit play and record on the front. And we'll go ahead and hit play on our DVD player. And we should have some music here shortly. So we've recorded this uh, with encoding Dolby noise reduction. The switch is right down here and Dolby is on as indicated right there. Let's go ahead and rewind the tape and see what this sounds like. Shouldn't be too bad. It's not awful, just not great. Go ahead and play that back. All right, so that's the end of our demonstration right there. So the next step is to hook our DBX decoder encoder into this setup here, and it's a little tricky. So let me show you how that's done. All right, let's show off these connections. So you'll need to hook the video as well as left and right audio into the back of your DVD player. And then over here, you're going to run the audio from this one to here and the input you're using is called from receiver tape output. All right, from receiver tape output, well, we're also sending the video signal directly into the VCR. We're not running video through this guy. He only does audio. So let's skip over and put that video signal there. From here, this goes to your stereo receiver or monitor, your TV monitor, so you can hear and see what's going on. And then as far as the decoding goes, you hook it up, the hook the VCR's audio input into two tape record input. Okay, so just pretend your VCR is a tape recorder. Run that stereo audio signal to right here, to left and right in on the VCR. Now, as you're recording, you should hear a very tinny, low dynamic range recording being played during the recording onto the VCR. And it'll sound a little bit like this. Make sure that your DBX decoder is powered on and that you have it as DBX in. And these little switches here over time have a tendency to get dirty. So you might have to go in and clean these with some contact cleaner. Uh, this is for disc decoding only. So there were pre-recorded DBX discs, 33 and a third. And if you happen to have one of those and you have it properly connected to your receiver, you can go ahead and click that, tap that, and you'll be decoding a record that's been encoded with DBX. Okay, don't do what I did the first time I tried this. Uh, make sure you have Dolby noise reduction turned off on your VCR. You don't want to encode it with DBX and Dolby at the same time. So Dolby NR is off. 
dbx is in over here all right let's go ahead and hit play and record on the deck and we will start our music over again All right, let's go ahead and stop our recording here. And I'm gonna turn that off for a second because it makes a lot of noise. And then I'm gonna hit play. And I'm gonna rewind it just slightly. And we'll just check to make sure our recording happened as it should have. There we go, hit play. Okay, tape sounds good. Now what we want to do is take this encoded signal and in, no, decode it. So that's uh, a little tricky as well. So let me show you how that's going to work. Okay, to listen to our DBX encoded VHS linear stereo tape, I will connect the output, audio output of my VCR here into the from tape record output here. And then over on this side, I'm connecting my monitors. So whether it's a TV monitor or a stereo system, you'll select or plug it into to receiver tape input. And at that point you will be decoding, or I'm sorry, you'll be decoding, that's right. You'll be decoding the signal coming from this box. All right, so let's take a listen to our DBX encoded linear stereo VHS tape. Basically, you're going to get a really muffled sound if you try to play back something non-DBX encoded, like the first recording we made on this particular system. Let's go ahead and play a little bit of that so you can hear what that sounds like. So in conclusion, you've heard linear stereo with Dolby noise reduction, and you've heard linear stereo with DBX noise reduction. What do you think? Which do you think is a superior quality sound? You can leave those comments below, and I would very much like it if you would follow me on Facebook or X. Those pages are linked down below in the description. You can also be a Patreon patron, and I do thank those who are Patreon patrons. You'll see their names down in the description. That's as of today. So thank you for watching. I hope you'll get a DBX NX40 yourself and a VCR that's linear stereo and try this experiment at home and see how it works for you. And we will see you next time.